The highest U.S. official to visit Cuba in more than 30 years has met leading Cuban dissidents in Havana. Roberta Jacobson, the State Department's top Latin American official, held the meeting after two days of historic US-Cuba talks. One dissident called the meeting a very human coming together but not all who were invited attended. Officials from the US and Cuba said the talks about establishing diplomatic relations had ended positively. The U.S. did not provide an official list of those who met Ms. Jacobson at the mansion of the head of the U.S. Interests Section in Havana. But the Washington Post reported that seven dissidents, many of whom have spent time in Cuban prison, attended. Berta Soler, the head of the Ladies in White group of spouses of political prisoners, turned down the invitation. I did not participate, Ms. Soler said. My decision was due to there not being a balance in terms of the diversity of opinion of the participants. If a diversity of opinions is sought, if differences are respected, then it should be balanced, she said. Ms. Jacobson told CNN there was a diversity of views at the event and said there was nothing like hearing from people themselves on the ground. It was very cordial, a very human coming together, Elise Ardo Sanchez head of the band but tolerated Cuban National Human Rights Commission, said. I cannot speak for all of civil society but the Cuban National Human Rights Commission is satisfied with the diplomatic position of the United States. Mr. Sanchez said he was not expecting miracles in the short term and in fact worried repression would intensify.